What's up guys? I'm student Dr. Thompson here to talk about the merger between MD residency programs and DO residency programs in America that just take place. Stick around. All right, so what happened? Well, essentially there's three organizations that I'm going to tell you about. The ACGME that manages most of the graduate medical education in America. The AOA, which is a DO-specific governing body that uh, manages the osteopathic gra graduate med medical education. And then there's the AACOM or ACOM that manages the uh, osteopathic schools. Um, essentially, what happened is these three organizations got together and today they announced that they've agreed to merge all of the uh, uh, essentially the accreditation of graduate medical education under one unified roof which is the ACGME's roof and then the ACGME will allow the AOA and ACOM to have a few spots on their board of trustees or or uh, executive council or whatever so um, what this means is now if you go to a DO school or an MD school or an MD school that's in the Caribbean, essentially everyone's going to be applying for all the same residencies and there's going to be no difference. Um, when does this take place? This takes place July 1st, 2015. Over a five-year period, the DO residencies will uh, slowly convert over to the ACGME residencies or the MD residencies and um, essentially give up their power. One person on Reddit said that this is the the ACGME buyout. Um, they're buying out all the DO spots and essentially, you know, this is a real merger acquisition type of deal. Um, the uh, one thing that I wanted to mention is that um, this was attempted before. Last year in July, uh, July 19th, 2013, um, there was a meeting in Chicago and the House of Delegates met, and essentially um, the, the DOs, or the AOA, rejected what the ACGME had proposed as far as the merger is concerned, and they, they didn't close all the doors, but they didn't have any hopes for a specific date of when a future merger would take place. I'm um, in student government in my school, and my school sends two representatives as well as every other DO Medical School, to the Council of Osteopathic Student Government Presidents. Essentially, at this meeting, we were visited by the AOA President Norman Vinn and the, AC, or the ACOM President uh, Stephen Shannon on two different meetings this past October in Nevada. And both of them, so, so this is in October, just a couple months after the failed attempt, both of them mentioned that there was no talks of, um, of a merger that were taking place at that time. Uh, again, the COSGP group that I'm a part of met again in January and an AOA rep was sent to us and she also mentioned that there was no talks, this was a month ago, of any merger. So when the merger was announced today, uh, it came as quite a surprise to more than just myself, I'm sure, uh, and to all of you and to um, pretty much everyone who was following this or the first attempt in the first place. So um, there's some pros and some cons. Uh, there's a lot of details that I probably don't have time to get into, so I'll put a lot of links in the description if you're interested in researching this more. But essentially the pros and cons are, um, for DOs, this type of integration could be very good in general for our profession. Um, I'm a DO student and a second year. and essentially just um, being integrated with the, the MD residency programs could have the potential to um, you know uh, take us as high as MDs go and take MDs as high as DOs go. Um, another benefit is that uh, this is one step closer to eliminating a the, the stigma that that still lingers between MDs and DOs. Um, it might show everyone that the training is exactly the same and um, maybe it'll become more like dentistry which has DMD and DDS and no one cares um, which one you go to. So another benefit would be that eventually there might be a unified match program. 
So for D for MDs, they have one match program. But for DOs, right now, you can choose to do the DO match in February or the MD match in March or both. But essentially, the problem comes when your first choice is an MD match, is in the MD match, and your second choice is in the DO match. You apply to your second choice in the DO match, and if you get that, you're automatically withdrawn from any chance of getting your first choice in the MD match. So that forces some people to say, I don't even want to do the DO match, and I'm going to put all my, all my eggs in the MD match, um, and that can be a really tough decision. A unified match would say that would mean that if you wanted to put your first choice as an MD residency and your second choice is what is now an a, a DO residency, you could do that without having to kind of make some of those tough decisions, if that makes any sense at all. Um, for MDs, this is really good because it opens up a lot more residencies. Um, it opens up some subspecialties that currently aren't as nearly as competitive as their subspecialties. Let's take ophthalmology, for example. Um, in the DO world, there are like a, just over a dozen ophthalmology spots and only 20 or 30 students who are competing for those ophthalmology spots. So now you open up those residencies to the MD match and now you get all these MDs that would want to apply for a less competitive um, residency because essentially there are fewer people applying for that one. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So that's a pro for the MDs, but a con for the DOs. Another pro is that MDs will be able to do um, osteopathic manipulative residency. So tr be trained as an uh, in osteopathic manipulative medicine. An MD could essentially train as an osteopath in residency. So um, uh, for a lot of MDs that are interested in holistic medicine and that form of, of healing, um, that could be seen as a huge pro. And then, and then finally, the governing body over the graduate medical education for MDs, the ACGME, they'll have all the power in the world now. They'll be the only one lobbying in Washington, D.C. for uh, graduate medical education. And, um, of course, there will still be some representatives in that company or in that organization from the DO side, but um, the power is really held within that ACGME organization. Some of the cons, like I mentioned for DOs, the subspecialties just got a whole lot more competitive. And we used to have an excess of 900 or more residencies that went unmatched. And so now all these applicants could potentially just take that, um, you know, that buffer, that safety zone away from us. And, and that could be seen as a con. And the cons for MDs, I really couldn't come up with any. Because... DOs have been able to apply for MD residencies for quite some time, and this won't really change a whole lot for them. So um, it's a win-win for them, and kind of a sacrifice in some ex um, some aspects for our, for DOs. Hopefully, this um, wasn't too confusing, and it helped to answer uh, some questions that you may have had. Um, again, I'll put some links in the description to official documentation about the merger, um, maybe a, a, an FAQ on um, frequently asked questions on, that uh, you may have. They might be found in there. And um, thanks for watching. Stick around for more great videos.